Hi beauties, it's Mika. Welcome back to my channel. Happy 2015. I don't think I've said that to you guys in any of my recent videos. So, Happy New Year. Thank you again for joining me today. Um, welcome to all my new subscribers, to all my old subscribers. I love you guys. And yes, um, the end of the year, Sephora was having their usual end of the year sales. They're trying to get rid of all that old stuff. And they were offering an extra 20% off. So, late at night, I'm always laying in bed looking at the Sephora site, um, adding a couple of things to my cart, and I accidentally hit the checkout button. So yes, this is the last haul of 2014, and I'm bringing it to you now in 2015. Um, I am going on a low buy. I'm giving myself kind of like an allowance for how much I can spend on makeup every month. Normally, I just buy whatever I want, and I realized that um, my palettes are exploding out of my makeup collection. My makeup collection has doubled within the last year, so I really, really, really need to just kind of slow it down and really get the things that I'm really wanting and that maybe I don't have in my collection already. So I'm going into a low buy. I'll figure that out. If you guys are interested to know what I'll be doing, let me know in the comments below. And also, I am going to IMATS next weekend. January 17th and 18th and I was thinking about vlogging but I wasn't sure if that's something that you guys would be interested in seeing absolutely let me know in the comments down below and I will do that for you and of course I will have an IMATS haul that is gonna be my last major haul for a while um, so yeah let's jump right into the Sephora haul All right, so the first thing I picked up was this Laura Mercier Artist for Eyes and Cheeks palette. I picked up the Artist for Eyes palette last year. The shades in that were stunning. So when I saw that this was on sale, um, I had to pick it up. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's this, I don't know, animal zebra print. And you open up the palette and these are the shades. It comes with eight eyeshadows and this very large rose gold shimmer highlight shade for the face. Um, it's very different than last year's palette. Okay, it's very different um, compared to last year's palette. Last year's palette was just 12 eyeshadows, a lot of neutrals and purple tones, and I was absolutely in love with it. This year's palette is significantly different, the same size, but they got rid of four shadows and added a highlight, which, I mean, the highlight is, it's pretty. So, um, I believe this palette is still available on sale. So if you would like, like, an in-depth review and swatches video, let me know down below. Okay, next, um, I did a video about the Makeup Forever Artist for Eyes shadows being $2.50 each in the sense that they had their face case. Um, I'll leave a link to that video down below if you want to see that video. But Makeup Forever had their studio face case, so I did actually actually go and pick up two more of these one for a giveaway and one for a friend so so if you're interested in seeing this um, face case I did did a full video with swatches and everything and you can buy the shadows in this individually so um, if you wanted to check that out I'll leave the link down below in the description box but I did pick up two more of these next I picked up the Sephora all occasion eye ensemble um, it comes with with 10 um, waterproof eyeliners um, they have so many different shades, um, some green, some aqua, some brown, some gold, obviously black and purples and silvers. This was also on sale for, I believe, $25. So um, I'm always looking for nice waterproof eyeliners for different pops of color, things to add on my waterline. So I picked this up. I thought it was a great deal. Next, I picked up the Stila In The Moment palette. I do not own any Stila palettes, so this was on sale for, I think, $19. So I decided to pick it up and give it a try. It looks like this. This purple shade really caught my eye. And then it also comes with their Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. I've heard amazing things about 
about these um, liners. I heard they don't budge. So this comes with 10 shades. It was $19 plus 20% off. I decided to give it a go. If any of you guys have this palette, what are your thoughts about it? What are your thoughts about Stila palettes in general? This is my first one, so I don't know. Also from Sephora, I picked up this little Makeup Forever set. It comes with the HD um, High Definition Setting Powder, which I have and I love. And this little size seriously lasts such a long time. I already have this one. I've had it for like a year and a half. Hardly made a dent in it. So I did pick up another one. I am going to either give this away or use it as a gift. Um, but what I wanted out of it was this little Itty Bitty Makeup Forever Kabuki brush. This set, I believe, was $20 plus 20% off. But this brush is so oh, super soft, and I was really on the hunt for a good Kabuki brush. So when I saw this, I had to pick it up. I thought it was a really good deal. Okay, and lastly from Sephora, it wasn't on sale, but I picked up a NARS blush in the shade Exhibit A. I've heard a lot of things about this blush, um, and that it's beautiful for women of color. It looks, like, extremely scary in the pan. Like, oh my goodness. But I have it on my cheeks today, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's extremely pigmented. That I just barely touched my finger in that. But I think it really, really gives a very nice um, warmth to the skin. I don't think you can see that I blended it in, but I really like it. Um, so yeah, Exhibit A Blush by NARS. Okay, so that's everything from Sephora. Now let's move into Ulta. I picked up a couple of things from Ulta online, so we'll move into that. Um, I picked up the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I picked up the double pack because it's cheaper to get it in two than it is to get just one. And I know I love this stuff. So these are the four fluid ounce bottles. I picked this up. If you want your makeup to last all day, you need to get this stuff. It is amazing. I also needed another eye primer because I have all of like the travel sizes. So I picked up a full size Urban Decay Primer Potion. I asked you guys on Instagram what's your favorite go to eye primer and everybody said this and I did have this in the travel sizes. I've had so many but I just decided to get a full size of this so I picked this up. And then lastly from Ulta, I picked up this um, It Brushes for Ulta travel set. Um, whenever I take makeup in my makeup bag, I don't like to take full size brushes because they get all bent and smushed and out of shape. So I picked this up. It comes with a complexion brush, a crease brush, a shadow brush, a smudger brush, and then an eyeliner, eyeliner brow brush. So. I picked this up. These are, they're so soft. I'm so excited about this. So hopefully they do a good job and they're perfect for in my makeup bag. Okay, so that is it for Sephora and Ulta. Okay, next I made a purchase on eBay. Um, if you saw on my Instagram, you saw that I had all four Vice palettes. Well, I had to pick up the limited one online from eBay. I missed the release. I think it released at like 2 a.m. I completely dropped the ball and forgot about it. And when I woke up, it was like... 7 in the morning, it was already all sold out, and I waited and waited to see if they were going to release it again, and they did not. So, I can't have one without the others, so I did pick this up online from eBay. I paid more than what they were selling for. I didn't pay that much. Some girl on Instagram was trying to sell this thing for $115. I was like, um, no, honey, no. So, I did pick this up on eBay. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh... I'm so excited to use this now that I have hauled it. So the Urban Decay Vice Limited palette. Next is a gift from my beautiful friend Liz, um, also known as Miss Liz Hart here on YouTube and Instagram. We've had a chance to meet each other in the year of 2014, maybe 23rd, end of 2013, I think. Anyways, um, we became really close. Me, her, and Stephanie, um, SL Miss Glam, are super close, and we're always sending each other gifts, so she sent me my Christmas gift, which I haven't had a chance to show you guys, so I'm going to show you now. 
it's funny like she knows me so well so I saw this mug and I was on the hunt for it and I couldn't find it and she sent me my gift and I opened it and it was in here and I didn't even tell her so she got this from Anthropology. it's a monogram mug it has the letter M for Mika of course it's super cute so thank you so much for this Liz um, she also got me some cute, um, stationary, some cute, like, stationary cute pens for my desk. She also got me a Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette in the shade, what is this? In the shade The Vintage Vamp, and she seriously, like, I don't, like, she knows me because these shades are right down my alley. This palette is so stunningly beautiful it has very warm browns and purples she knows purple is my favorite color and then some gold here and a champagne color here Liz this is so stunning she texted me asking me if I've used it yet and I was like I can't because I haven't hauled it and I haven't taken pictures of it so I will be using this now thank you so much Liz it's beautiful she also sent me a chapstick and then she always sends me like little candies and things Liz thank you so much it's beautiful I love it and it'll be put to good use alright so speaking of Miss Liz Hart so I was watching her video the other night and she had hauled some very adorable cute things from the dollar spot at Target and I was so sad because my Target never has like cute things in the dollar spot but I said you know what I'm gonna give it another try so I went um, early in the morning and I got some amazing goodies this bag is stuffed so I'm going to title this section this portion I'm gonna title this portion of the video as Liz made me do it she seriously is responsible for a lot of the hauls that I do she's beautiful she's amazing she has such a great sense of design and fashion and I would absolutely highly suggest that you guys subscribe to her, but beware, you're going to be spending some money after watching her videos, let me tell you. But anyways, let me jump into the items that Liz made me purchase. So first and foremost, the main reason why I ran off to Target was for this super cute chalkboard easel. I picked up two of them because I wanted them so bad. It is so stinking cute. It opens up and it just sits there. I got one for my beauty room and I also got one for the kitchen. I think I think I'm going to put it in the kitchen downstairs in my house. This was 3 bucks at the dollar spot. Best $3 I had ever spent. It is so freaking adorable to just get different chalk pens and write different things on it and change it for the seasons. Like, how cute is this? 3 bucks. So along with that, I obviously had to get some chalk pens. This wasn't in the dollar spot, but I didn't have any chalk, so I had to get it. So I got some colorful ones, and then I also got some white ones too, some white chalk too. But after using this, the chalk gets all over my fingers, so is there better chalk that I can use that you guys know of? So that, And it's hard to write with this too, so let me know down below if there's better pens or whatever that I can use. Also, I picked up these dimensional stickers. They're Valentine's Day themed, again for love notes, but also so that I can decorate my Erin Condren life planner. Um, this is my Erin Condren life planner, and the month of February is looking pretty dang bare. So I picked up these so I can kind of decorate it and make it a little bit more festive. So I will be working on this later on today. If you, if you guys want to see a video Video about my life planner absolutely let me know in the comments below I love this thing she goes in my purse and it's really handy and it kind of keeps my life organized all right moving on these little plastic I mean they they kind of emulate um, acrylic but they're not acrylic these were a buck also I think I'm gonna use this to store my washi tape or different crafting things I'm not sure but I picked up two of these from the dollar spot they were a dollar each I also picked up four packs of note cards um, these are a nice little gold design um, this one says hello super cute teal and gold polka dots and this one are thank you cards now that 
that um, I'm on YouTube and Instagram. I've met so many different people from different walks of life and different areas around the country. And I find myself sending little gifts and trinkets to people. And I don't have any cute cards. And Liz is always sending me, like, super cute cards. So when I saw these, I had to pick them up. So they were a dollar each. And they're so cute. Also in the dollar spot, I found this glitter jar. Yes, I could have easily DIY'd this on my own, but for the price of three bucks, I was like, let me just buy this real quick. So I picked it up. It's gold, which is exactly what I was going for, and it's this cute little mason jar. I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet, but it is super, super, super cute. I wish there was more. This was the last one, so I might go back and see if they've restocked on these. So this was three bucks in the dollar spot at Target. Okay, and I've also picked up this metallic ink pad and the stamp says with love which I thought was super cute so again when I'm writing little love notes I can stamp it with love and be like boom with love thanks lastly I picked up these super cute heart clips they're like these little clothesline pens and they have little hearts at the bottom of them white and red I'm not sure if you can see super 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 cute I loved it so again for just little I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'll figure it out. All right, you guys, so that is everything from the Target dollar spot from Liz Made Me Do It. Um, I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. Of course, let me know if you want me to vlog at IMATS. I will absolutely do that for you. And, of course, leave your video request down below. I want to know what you guys want to see from me and from my channel. I do have some ideas, and I'm excited about 2015 and about posting more. But let me know what you guys want to see so that I can give you what you want. And, yes, make sure you guys subscribe before you go so that you know when I upload new videos. Uh, follow me on my social media. I love being being active with you guys there. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. So yeah, um, that is it. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. It and too much comes out and have to deal with that. I like that this has so much more control. I